First of all, I want to thank all of you who took part in this unique event and especially I want to thank all the organizers, you did a great job. It was a really incredible experience for me, I've never taken part in such event online and it's great that so many people from so many countries come together to solve problems. I hope that this community will be growing and we will see events of even greater scale. Okay, now let's talk about me and my Robocop experience. I'm Adam and I'm from Russia, Tomsk. I started making co-space projects in 2018 when I was challenged to take part in Robocop Russia Open. Since then I participated in one more Russia Open next year in two European Junior Robocops and one Robocop Asia Pacific. It was a long way during which my understanding of solving the problem was becoming deeper as well as implementation was becoming more complicated. But despite the possible complexity of solving the problem, I always try to look for the simplest solution. I've learned C++, some localization and mapping algorithms using Cospace Robot. I had a great time during ECHL Challenge. Watch how other people solve their problem. It is fun and absolutely unique. After viewing the sharing videos, I think one of the most perspective is CG7113. He's definitely persistent in solving the challenge and I would like to be so. I would be really glad to help other people start their Cospace adventure, teaching them the basics. Let's talk about the strategy I used. As I mentioned in previous presentation, in this particular challenge I used very simple algorithms just because in a case, when we have a ready map, it can be simpler for a robot to move by certain paths. The main idea of this particular algorithm is that a robot moves from one point to another while checking objects, deposit zones and etc. The strategy is pretty limited. The result is often pretty affected by how efficient your path is and layout of object during the game. But main advantage is simplicity. It is really easy to control. You always know where your robot is in a certain moment. To improve your path, you have to test a lot of paths to check the most efficient ones. Also, you can place more points to have better control in robot movements. It's all fine, but this algorithm has no way to solve problem when we don't have a map then you got to use mapping algorithms. Thus, the less information we have before the start, the harder will be the implementations. As you can see here, robot moves from point to point according to the path I made. 